Eternal fire. Yeah, oxymoron. If you were a piece of dust, I'd shine a light through the busted window as I learn to trust in the updraft that you're on. I don't know this part. You changed this part. So I don't know what the lyrics are here. Yes. When the future is the past. You changed it. Now this is just a solo. It's one of my favorite songs. Bum. Boom. This is very interesting to hear. Dun, 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 dun. Shit at last. When the future is the past. This is a very good melody. Yeah. Well, this is just a transition track now. How is everyone? How there is everyone? Animate? What else am I gonna do? about the only thing I do do. Only thing I do do. I said do do. <laughs> Still setting up things. Almost done with this book. Get this out of here. It's time to animate. It's not time to read. Too loud. Song too loud. It is a Tuesday. It's gay month. This month's for the gays. Shout out to all my gays out there. Predictable, gonna stop stalling. I've got some falling to do. I'm in a state of shock, but it's something new. I guess it all depends on your point of view. Okay, um, I don't know if I want to listen to this playlist. What should we should listen to some more Lemon Demon though? What was the last album that I listened to? It was Dinosaur Orchestra. Um, hmm. Um, I mean, I won't be able to. I barely have enough time to do the things that I want to do by myself. I've got so much that I want to do and so much that I have to do and so much... I don't really have the time to commit to anything at the moment. Still trying to look for... I need to put something on. Um... Do, do, do. View monster, I guess. I haven't. I need to listen to more albums. Get out of here. Wait, not yet. I've had some people ask whether or not I was gonna do the. Oh, hello, dog. 
She, her head's poking at my blanket. Hold on, let me put this over here. Whoa! That was a close one. Hey. No, I don't like my models being out there. I don't have any download for my models. Cause I, I don't know. I like to keep them. I like to keep them. I like to keep them. I like to collect them, like they're my own little trinkets. No, I like to encourage like other people to make their own models. Cause that's how I got started. Look at me. I made, I made rigs. I made models. I know how to make a Veggie Tales character inside and out, except for that code, the Veggie Tales in the box thing that I, you know. You, I, I don't know how to code, so it's very hard for me to do that. But other than that, like I, I can visually represent a VeggieTales character pretty well. Anyway, well, back to what I was saying before. I, I've been getting a couple of comments about whether or not I'm going to be doing like the Rack Shack and Benny treatment to other episodes, and the answer is a resounding no. I will not. I will not be doing this again. Enjoy it while it lasts. This is too much. It, this has been two years. I've been working on this since February of last year, of 2022. February of 2022, I've been working on this nonstop. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this again, but it won't be VeggieTales related. I'm not doing this again. It's been very fun, and I really liked, I really enjoyed working on it and coming up with new things, but, I, you know. I don't think it's worth really worth doing it again, personally, from my perspective. And even if I tried to, like, I, the heart wouldn't be in it. Either way, it's the only episode that I think, like, really falls flat on his face, but more so because of the time it was made. I think it, it was the only episode that really needed a, a big brush up. I was, saying, I was seeing some people specifically want Fib from Outer Space, but I think that one's, like, good. That one looks good as it is. Because, like, the thing with Rackshack and Benny is that, like, the... It's very strangely defined visually. There's not, like... It's very messy. <laughs> like, from a modeling and texturing standpoint, it's very messy. Even, like, from the... Yeah, anything post-Fib holds up really well. I think Fib from Outer Space 2 also holds up pretty well. But also, like, even the stuff bef they did before... Like, the immediately episodes they did before and after Rackshack and Benny. Like, they were both very simple, you know, from the sense of just, like, you just build the sets and they are what they are. They're very simple sets that, you know, were executed pretty well. But Rackshack and Benny, they tried to build an entire factory. Like, you need a little bit more time and money to uh, do that. <laughs> now, we don't have the money, but we sure do have the time and the passion. I don't think so. I, I think there's some things that I really like in the original episode. Like, one thing that I really like in the episode is the lighting. They do this kind of cool thing where they have two fill lights inside the factory. One is kind of like a regular stereotypical day fill light, but the, on the other side of the characters, there's like a constant red fill light to kind of portray the furnace on the other side of the factory. And I really... It has a kind of nice effect to it. And it's also... I, what I, sh I should have watched Terry some more Terry Gilliam before I started this project. I still haven't. I really need to watch some of Terry Gilliam stuff. That probably would have made it a much better... V v more true to the original. Because I know a lot of the machinery and that stuff was 
specifically inspired by Brazil. So, I should have watched more Terry Gilliam. In fact, I still need to watch more Terry Gilliam. They didn't have a lighting department, but they still had lighting. In the same sense that we don't have a lighting department. It's just, it's literally just me doing all of the lighting. I also feel like every single other project that I've done, like I don't have an animation department or a lighting department or a rendering department. I don't have a render farm. But you, you know, it's literally physically impossible for you to have a finished animation without adding lights to it. Or else everything is just black. Or just flat colored. Whichever one suits your fancy. But even then, if you want to have like a stylistic... Uh, like, I forget the term. I keep forgetting terms. My brain. Flat colored thing going on. You need to have, like, um, people who know the program enough and know how lighting works enough to pull that off. I'm, I think I was the only story artist for, unless you use story artist as an umbrella term for storyboard artist and, uh, concept artist. Because we, we had a lot of concept artists. We had, like, Three, three or four concept artists. I'm not sure if that's including me or not, but like, yeah, we had uh, Horned Pineapple by Pepper. We had Horned Pineapple, uh, Drew La Andrew Lyon, uh, SDA Storyteller, Bitchu and Blender did some, and I think that's it. There is like a few other like here and there things. That people did. But it's mainly just like, yeah. Just us. I did such a good job. Story. No, I was the only one who did storyboards. I was gonna do. There was another project that I was working on that I was. I had Pines do some storyboards for that. I really like that, but that's never gonna come to fruition. Story, like, making a big project like this is such a complicated thing. I'm, I'm, like, I'm gonna do... Whenever the project releases, I'm gonna do a live stream of maybe some other people, but mostly just me trying to explain the process, but, you know... you It's something that you slowly have to build up on, because if you try to think too much about everything that you're doing, it's, like so incredibly complicated like the kind of how the word like generally things work is that this, you know when people say that something's complicated it doesn't mean that it's, it's one complicated thing it's a bunch of really little simple things but they all work in complicated ways in relation to each other so it's like the if i had done the project that i was talking about earlier with pines is like she had her storyboard, but the storyboard kind of didn't entirely fit within the 3D context. So if I would, if, if I were in like a professional animation scenario, like I would either have her redo the storyboard in a way that makes more sense editing wise and spatially wise, or like what I could do is just like take that same storyboard, get the general idea across, and then like do a rough layout based on that. Build, you know, and then on top of that, I'll have to take that rough layout before the sets are designed or even built. I'd either have to desi design the set based off the rough layout or design the set first and then do a rough layout based off of that. And then once both of those sides agree on that, you have to, you know, build out all the structure inside of the set. And then you have to texture and detail everything.
no particular episodes. There's, I guess the biggest ones are Josh and the Big Wall, Esther, and both of the Larry boys. But more so than that, I wanted it to be a pastiche of 1960s, like, Broadway movie musicals. So I, uh, I had a list, like, on the drive of the main movies, but I, I whittled it down to kind of four, which is, uh, the two biggest ones is the 1960-something, gonna figure out the year. Because it is, like, very old, in, you know, in terms of movies. 19, no, it's 1957 movie, The Pajama Game, and Chicago. Those are the two biggest inspirations for that. And then The Producers and Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. So it's kind of like a pastiche mishmash of all of those. I think Esther was like the biggest. Esther and Josh and the Big Wall are kind of stylistically the biggest. But I, I say the two Larry boys because like they had a very 1950s, 1960s vibe to them. Both of them do. So I just gotta have that. Anyway, I'm answering questions about a project that hasn't even released it. I guess you can kind of see what it looks like through the teaser trailer that I released, but... I don't know. Oh, one more thing. Most of the machines in the factories were design-wise and, like, texture-wise were based off of the machine, off of paw grape shapes. There's a fun fact that I'll probably forget by the time I do, you know, the thing. Well, it's because it's a musical. Like, uh, how I... Specifically, most of the musical numbers... I designed specifically off of Chicago and uh, Joseph. <clears throat> specifically the Bunny Song. The Bunny Song was kind of a mix of the general feel of Chicago and of Chicago's musical numbers and the Pharaoh song from Joseph. You don't even know what that's going to look like. I know what it's going to look like. We haven't like animated it yet and I've only lit that one shot but... I have a general sense of what it's going to look like. I, 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 I have the ideas there. I don't know what the ex final execution is going to look like. I need to work on things. You're distracting me. You guys are bad influences. Um, yeah. Hold on, let me show you what I got so far with the project. Because I am who I am. I'm doing a thing. Because I just read in the newspaper two weeks ago that there's going to be a big flyers competition out at Cloudsdale. And guess how I'm going to win it? Practice. No, it's in two weeks. There's no time for that. Hard work. Closer, you're getting warmer. Cheating. No, no, cold. Giving up. No, because how am I supposed to win if I give up? Fluttershy, you can't win by quitting. Okay, I'm sorry. But what I really meant was that I give up guessing. I'm gonna win by flying so fast that I explode. So show me what you're gonna sound like if I explode. No, no, no. Fluttershy, you have to be happy if I explode. It's a good thing, okay? I don't know. I think if I start telling everyone with a great big smile that one of my friends exploded... It's okay. They're gonna get the context. My mom used to say it all the time. So that's all I got so far. I need to listen to the rest of the audio. I just, I've been working on this on and off. I need to do something about that. I don't know. Go back to this oh, one. No, no. Flutter Child, you have to be happy if I explode. It's a good thing, okay? Oh, yeah, the next part is the show That Great Big Smile. It's okay, they're gonna get the context. <coughs> My mom used to say it all the time. My sinuses are acting up, I don't know why. Smile. Big smile. Okay. Big smile. No? 
I'm trying, but I keep remembering school pictures. I was very fast. I'm basing the theme song off of the theme song. I mean, there's not much to work with there. It's just, you know, the characters in a white void. I can't really change it that much without, you know, kind of ruining it, I think. Because, you know, the theme song is very simple. Visually, anyways. But yeah. Smile. Context, my mom used to say it all the time. So let's see Fluttershy smile. Big smile. Okay. Big smile. No? I'm trying, but I keep remembering <coughs> school pictures. I was very fast. We weighed the same amount, Fluttershy. Okay. Thank you. I thought very long and hard about it. Smile. Big smile. Context. My mom used to say it all the time. So let's see Fluttershy smile. Uh, I keep track of it all. Basically. I'm the only... We have, like, a drive folder full of stuff. But there's a lot of stuff... Not a lot of stuff. There's some stuff that I don't put on there that I keep on my own stuff. Like, most of the rendered frames I'm keeping for myself for now. Because we're not to that point where we can, like, really start going into editing. We have a spreadsheet with all of the shots for each scene. And I assign, like, different people different shots. That kind of thing. That's about as most organized as it gets. It's, like, pre-production can be pretty chaotic, but I think it, it has to be chaotic because you have to, like, come up with so many ideas that pro probably contradict each other, but, like, those kinds of contradictions and those, like, contrast and, you know, thinking out of the box, co you come up with the best ideas that way. Whenever you start getting into production, you need to get a little bit more organized or else it's never going to get done. Again, I'll explain this all later. I'll talk about this all far later. Because at the very least, I want like all of this that I talk about to be in like one contained live stream, so that you know anybody who is curious about that stuff like can just watch that. The girl back there? She's itchy. Let me give her a shower. But I'm I'm live stream. I can't live stream my dog taking a shower. Mostly because I don't have a camera, but also just no. Maybe not. Maybe not do that. It's not really on brand for me. Yep. 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 I think you guys are really gonna like what I do with the theme song. Let's see, Fluttershy smile. Oh yeah, I need to put on View Monster. Cause it's game month. I mean, technically, I already have. Cool, I have a scroll. She's so encouraging. Rainbow Dash. Big smile. 
pile. I'll pull this over here, so. Big smile. Okay. Well, thanks. It was mostly Pine's idea. I just kind of, I just kind of took it as we worked, because I think at first she only had Twilight and a couple others. I changed some of the designs, but it was all mostly just her. I just took them. I stole them. I stole. I stole the horses. Big smile. No, I'm trying. But I keep remembering school pictures. I was very fast. Is everything good audio-wise? I stole the horses. Correct. That I had tomato loss. All right. Wait, I should probably move this up a little. Is that good? Ah! Ah! Whoa! Huh? I'm fine. I'm okay. I just sneezed. <sighs> Sinuses. Sinuses, man. Can't remember because you have jumped and hit my brain. I can't recall that special way she told me each and every day her name. The same way, every time's the same.
What's happening there? Wait. No way. Why is it dancing? What's happening there? Don't know what's happening there, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Can't remember when he walked on the OR side. It's the Wales Waldo song. It's a song about Waldo. How fun. The man in stripes and glasses. The man in stripes and glasses. The man in stripes and glasses. She shouted, where am I? Before a giant cart to magnifying glass. Thumbs up with the hair stuff. how devastated she is. The man in stripes and glasses. Oh no!
together. Listen to that Jew harp go. People who are crazier than me. Gadzooks, Gadzooks, all such crazy kooks. You're giving me the spooks. when you're a little mm, richer.
Save a mount, Fluttershy. Let's not think about Actually, I think I might be able to finish this today. Because the last shot, I'm going to switch out one of the models for a very specific reason. So, yeah. Blimey, poor blimey. I'm not sure how I feel about this song. I kinda don't like it. It's a bit too silly for me. I like the pizzicato strings though. Swear! I don't know if that actually covered up, but... It's not like I haven't sweared before. I'm not even sure if I've sweared on stream before. I probably haven't. I don't do it often. Or ever. At all. But I'm not against it. I'm gonna let the swear pass by right now. I'm gonna. Ah! I let it pass by. I let the the, the swear. Uh, it's just the swear. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh God. My spleen. Oh no. Something's wrong here. It'll buff. I'll walk it off. It'll be fine. Every, everything's good. I'm gonna continue animating. It's fine. It's good. Everything's good. It's fine. It's good. Yeah, sure. It's fine. It's good. It's fine.
I do like the ending though. Words don't hurt. Who does? Okay, well, in, in that case, I, I challenge you. Tickle fight! Tickle fight. It's a tickle fight. Don't bring no knife to a tickle fight. Just bring your fingers and bring your red, and everyone can swing together now. Tickle fight. Tickle fight. Tickle fight. Let you do things like tickle five. Ring down who's leaving five for them to five for from kitten kaboodly. Hey, can you tell it's been a while since I've listened to this album? Tickle five. I'm with that I'm gonna use the bathroom. Oh wait, I'm gonna reset this song. This is my favorite song ever. But you need the transition. I love this song. Absolutely, this is my. F I think this this is my favorite song ever. Ukulele. I knew not it up to date, but in the most exquisite way, like neckties or like macrame. Such a good song. Where to begin? My hands would sit here on my chin. It's actually the first time I've heard the remastered version of this. When the few time is past. But something keeps me as a pet The only house that's not on fire yet I made it when I was an architect This is just the side effect Strangely regular, but honestly, I prefer it to the usual bizarre. What an oxymoron. If you were a piece of dust, I shine a light through the busted window as I learn to trust in the updraft that you're on. Click, click. I don't focus the films in the can like Hocus Pocus, a picture of you Killing me with deja vu The only house that's not on fire yet What's the rest of the line? Well, let's think about happy bunnies and 
you tell them that I exploded. Punchline is that there is no punchline. Change all the hate into love with the old switcheroo. Dancing with my deja vu. You'll be dancing too when I escape at last. But something keeps me as a pet. The only house that's not on fire yet. Doing some key poses. Yet. I love that song. Favorite song ever of all time, and nothing will ever top it ever in my life, ever. I have very specific tastes. I'm very picky when it comes to the things that I consume, media-wise. Food-wise, probably also. I was actually thinking of animating the song at some point with the pirates who don't do anything. But that never went anywhere. If anybody wants to do anything with that idea, you can do something with that. I think the lyrics fit the pirate who don't do anything pretty well. Especially the second verse. Like seagulls in slow motion Just slightly. The ocean, the ocean. I kind of 
like that angle that she had. To the ocean. Oh yeah, I also really like this song. Yeah, okay. I thought I'd like, be able to finish this by the way. And you make a hole that's deep and big enough. My friend exploded. Mom was right. Yeah, I just need to do this. Okay, now. Make her look hopeful for the last pose. Your mom, he was right. Wistfully looking into the sky. And then I'll need to animate the last shot and also model the jetpack. Also rig up her goggles so that, you know, they stick.
I wouldn't call them good. This, this, you know, I don't put much effort at all ever into my thumbnail sketches. These are not good at all. Okay, I think I got the key poses down. I'm gonna go through them. Sorry. Yeah. Keep remembering school pictures. I'll clean up Fluttershy first.
Things are slowing down, so I'm gonna close this for a second. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Subtle, very tiny movements, itty bitty movements. See if there's anything I can do with the torso.
Hmm. Apparently the most popular song on this album is the next one, Bill Watterson. I guess so. It's very catchy. Very catchy, very funky song. I still love The Only House That's Not On Fire yet. Putting the pieces on, building a big machine. I'm just chilling. I'm just sitting here chilling. I'm not going to be able to get 
And every piece of mind you put down Notice those harmonies bit before. They're so good in the chorus. I need to relearn this song on accordion. Let's know those chords. Thank you. Okay, I'm switching the rainbow dash. I'm just adding uh, in betweens between the key poses. I say we're breakdown. The technical term is that they're breakdown poses. But I guess in 3D animation, because all the information and animation that I have are from the Animator Survival Kit, which is a mainly 2D animation book. So I only have the vocabulary of those classic 2D animators. So, I don't know what the proper modern term is. I'm sure it would have had to change since 3D animation is the standard for cinematic animation, but... I don't know, never worked in the studio before, so I wouldn't know.
something's happening here. Ooh. Album is finished. The album is donezo. We can listen to some of the bonus tracks, I guess. listen to all the bonus tracks on this album so this is going to be a new experience for me i've definitely seen heard a good amount of these nightmare fuel modify obviously i really like sundial the wiggles hate each other in real life sad song i'm probably gonna skip the instrumental ones I think I've heard this one every now and then, but I never really got into it. What is this? I have no idea what this song is about.
no idea what this song is about. What is the song? What is the song? What is the song? What is the song? Hmm? Neil, what is Neil, what is the song? <laughs> Neil, what is the song? <laughs> I don't like the song. Neil, what is this? Tell me. I don't know what this song is. Don't know what that song was. What is this? Well, he hasn't showered in 36 days, so... <laughs> the babysitter exploded. Babysitter exploded. What is this? Uh, I think this is good for now. Yeah, yeah. If we gonna render it out, I get hung from her septum, O'Malley cut it is up, but wishes that it kept him, and it's it's all right to look cool and do what you do, what you do. I got it soon, he's gonna get scrimshaw carved on it and it's alright Modify and sever May nothing get infected it's going by a lot slower than I thought it would. Adjacent to his eyes because it wants to look mauled.
What? He's playing kind of fail, but it would have been dope. Have you been? What are you? What have you been doing? You specifically, you, you right there. Hey, you, you. How? How? How are you? What are you? If are you? Hmm. There's a thinker right there. Answer the question. If are you, then what is? There's my question. Ans answer that one. See if you can answer that one, smart guy. I'm gonna make chili later. I'm excited because I really like chili. That's good, getting some sketches done. I need to do another art stream, but I don't know what to do with it, aside from just, like, mindless doodling. I guess I could also do that. Been doing some anatomy studies lately. Oh yeah, also, I, I gotta finish this book. Let me talk about this book. I don't have much to say about it. I have much to do about it. It's a very actionable book, book but... I've been reading Story by Robert McKee. It's, uh... I'm probably, like, the at the perfect point in my life to start reading this, because I tried reading this, I think, a few years ago. I didn't get very far. I think the, the first couple of chapters are kind of... I guess kind of turn-offs for me. It, the more cultural, I think, the first couple of chapters it's talking about well the, the book is about writing stories specifically screenplays and the first couple of chapters are definitely very film heavy they're more so about like trying to figure out where your film fits within the culture of filmmaking kind of useless for me since i'm not exactly headed to Hollywood by any means, especially if I would. I'm not sure if I would be particularly a writer. But, like, once I got past those, like, there's a lot of really good information on here. I'm almost done with it. I think I got, like, a hundred more pages. I think less than that. What is this? Cherry pop. Hip hop. Cherry pop. Yeah! But it's a very good book. Again, I like the perfect place for it. Because it definitely... I, I've been... I think about storytelling a lot. Simply because of the stuff that I do. But this definitely filled in a lot of gaps for me. I also need to read... Uh, Joseph Campbell's Hero with a Thousand Faces. Which I really want to go through. I tried listening to the audiobook... Like a few days ago. Like a... A week or two ago. It was, it was very good. But uh, it was during a long car trip. And I get motion sickness very easily. So I couldn't like. Couldn't go through it too hard. I really wanted to finish this up. Six hour book. I think the audio book was. So. I'll make sure to check that one out at the library.
guys have any ideas for art streams? I want to do another one, but I don't know what to do it for or with. I want to do something like the one I did last time, which is just a bunch of, like, loose doodles and sketches. Just, you know, having some fun, not really doing anything in particular, but... That's impossible. Impossible. You don't know. That's not how that works. You don't buy a new thing and it makes your skills better. It might make some things look different. Sometimes those differences can be good, but your skills... You need to work on your skills. You can't buy skills. Is it playing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Pokemon? It is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Pokemon. The best song ever made. I, yeah. Very easy song to remember. What is this Gadzooks? The original version of Gadzooks. Well, hold on. While my keytar gently weeps, that sounds very interesting. Nobody told me about this. This is amazing. <laughs> Disco bass film. This is incredible. Incredible. <laughs> My guitar gently weeps. This is great. This is amazing. I love it. heard this before. I kind of like this. It's nice. It's soft. It's a softer version of the song. Baseline sounds very familiar. Like I've heard it somewhere else in the album before. I think it's in Drinky Bird. I don't know 
know if I'm gonna hold on. Let me get this set up before you know I, while I have the time. Such crazy kooky kooks. How crazy and wacky and silly is that? Gadzooks. Just got some problems to work out. I'm only passing through, or maybe just ride out. Somehow, someone set my sundial backwards, tilted and upside down. Now the shadow sign is pointing, I'm right out of town. I think it's easy when I start to shut my eyes. And I forget that I have said my last goodbyes. Quickly I reopen them and bid you all cheerio, my friend. This goes on for hours and it never seems to end. Bam, 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 bam. I don't remember what it is that I just said to you. I've got Anubis on my back and something in my shoe. Don't be backward, don't be jealous. You're so bloody overzealous. I think that's it. Is that it? It's almost dead. No, that's it. Okay. That's going that's getting that's getting done. Um I'm gonna pull up what the rendered result is. Probably gonna have to fix that last shot somehow. But, let me see how everything goes together. Cause I just read in the newspaper two weeks ago that there's gonna be a big flyers competition out at Cloudsdale. Oh yeah, Guess how I'm gonna too. win it. Practice. No, it's in two weeks. There's no time for that. Hard work. Close here, you're getting warmer. Cheating. No, no, cold. Giving up. No, cuz how am I supposed to win if I give up? Fluttershy, you can't win by quitting. Okay, I'm sorry. But what I really meant was that I give up guessing. I'm gonna win by flying so fast that I explode. So show me what you're gonna sound like if I explode. <laughs> no, no, no. Fluttershy, you have to be happy if I explode. It's a good thing, okay? I don't know. I think if I start telling everyone with a great big smile that one of my friends exploded... It's okay. They're gonna get the context. My mom used to say it all the time. So let's see Fluttershy smile. Big smile. Okay. Big smile. No? I'm trying, but I keep remembering school pictures. I was very fat. <laughs> we weighed the same amount, Fluttershy. 
Let's not think about that anymore. Let's think about happy bunnies, and you tell them that I exploded, and that makes them happy. My friend exploded. Her mom was right. Yeah, that was... That was okay. I need... I really need to clean it up. But... All the time. So let's see Fluttershy smile. Big smile. Okay. Big smile. No? I'm trying, but I keep remembering school pictures. I was very fat. <laughs> we weighed the same amount, Fluttershy. Let's not think about that anymore. Let's think about happy bunnies, and you tell them that I exploded, and that makes them happy, Fluttershy. Let's not think about that anymore. Let's think about happy bunnies, and you tell them that I exploded, and that makes them happy. My friend exploded. Her mom was right. Yeah, that was... Okay. That's that. Okay, so here's the problem. I haven't practiced any new songs, so I'm gonna do an old song that I do usually, but I haven't played it in a while. So I don't know how this is gonna go. We're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. We're trying... I can't say we're trying new things, because this is explicitly a song that I kind of automatically know. We're gonna do a traditional polka this time. An actual polka, not just a song that's been polka fired. Also, again, I haven't done this in a while, so we're gonna see how this goes. I'm trying to do it slowly so I can kind of let my mind keep up.
to pronounce it. Ofto, Ofto Aroban. On the highway, on the freeway. Whatever. It's German, I think. Traditional German polka. Kind of scuffed it up a little, but when don't I? Alright. Goodbye, everybody. So long. Sayonara. Goodbye. Bit of a slow stream, but, you know. Gotta finish a project.